Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel. In this video we're gonna discover the new Chanel Full 22 eyeshadow palette and it is Intensité and you see this is a beautiful new eyeshadow palette that Chanel launched recently so I think it's coming we're wild and it's not available in every country yet but I think it will so if you're new to my youtube channel please take a moment to subscribe and don't forget to follow me also on instagram where i upload quite daily makeup news so it's a very very beautiful eyeshadow quad you see we have this great symphony so well balanced of pink mauve and also a luminous golden touch it's very natural on the eye, you can play with a more cool or a warmer tone so if you are a cool tone lover you won't be disappointed by this palette because it is very versatile so you can use it more cool shades or instead you can play with warmer tone. This violet is very very beautiful. It's a um, cool violet in my opinion. It's very helpful to create intense look but at the same time it's not too heavy so it's very wearable and very blendable also. In fact uh, we have a beautiful transition between golden and violet and it really blends by itself into a beautiful warm orange shade so you have this golden that it fades into an orangey violet transition so very very elegant and also very great quality of these um, eyeshadows because they are very blendable and well pigmented also now I'm wearing this palette on my eyes and it's combined with Lisa Eldridge lipsticks I used a combo of Velvet Fair and Kitten Mischief and you have also a great Chanel selection of lipsticks this fall to combine with this palette because Chanel released a lot, a huge selection of pink mauve nude tone from Rouge Allure so they are not available yet in Italy but I think soon they will and there is a shade, a particular shade that I love so much and probably I will take it that in my opinion perfectly fits with this eyeshadow palette because it has movie tone but I decided to use a more um, warm brown beige tone so that really suits this um, sort of um, golden warm undertones that this palette has but it's perfect in my opinion also with mauve lipsticks and in general this palette could suit pretty everyone because it has this neutral tone that are pink mauve shades and also this um, warm golden touch so it's perfect if you have olive skin if you have medium light skin and also if you are very fair so this violet will not drain you if you are very fair so it's very universal in a way so it really suits everyone probably if you have as a eyes as me or green eyes or also light blue eyes it will make you your eyes pop a little bit more so here is the palette We have uh, two matte shades, so this plum and this pink tone are uh, completely matte. And then we have uh, two sudden metallic shades, we will see, we'll discover after. And it's this golden shade and this um, top shade. So now let's see the swatches. It's a beautiful neutral color, you see it's a rosy top shade, very pretty. I consider this uh, as a neutral because it has uh, 
a lot of grey in it. So you see it's definitely more intense but it's a tone to tone so you see it's more intense and a little bit darker you see then we have this luminous touch it's a gold shade very beautiful let's see how pretty it's a warm gold shade so it's perfect with these shades you see it's really really beautiful how pretty this trio is you see so well combined very very pretty so luminous you see this is sudden also this one but this is definitely more um, luminous so it is a sudden metallic shade and then we have the darkest tone yes it's a little bit more intense you see but yes it's cooler it's a beautiful tone of violet you see so pretty okay let's start using this beautiful palette so i really don't know which look is from chanel for this full collection so i try to invent something now just to show you the the shades so i hope to show you all the shades in action so i'm gonna start with this matte rosy shade and it's a very delicate rosy tone you see I have my window open so if you hear some noises sorry but it's terribly hot here and I want to film it in natural light to show you the real color is pick this color and you see if you apply it over you really it really doesn't show so I'm gonna take it away a little bit and see how it performs by itself yes this shade is more delicate than the previous one so you have to put it before otherwise you won't see it or instead if you want to achieve a cooler tone a cooler look let's say this one is more uh, cool and a little bit violet it's a top rosy top you see so you can use it instead of the matte one that's more warm rosy so you see this shade is very natural and now let's use the warm pink use it before the matte one and you see now if you go over it you really can create a more dimensional look so this is matte and it helps also to create a shape so just to recap this one is this shade I apply now as a base and this one is the shade that is apparently lighter but it's not it's a little bit darker than this one and warmer and matte and I'm using to to blend to create the shape the eye you can use it also on the brow bone here especially if you have to pull it back if you have um, hooded eyes like me and you need to pull it back 
So I'm not in a highway, it's, there is a lot of traffic down here, I don't know why. The tones together are very pretty. And now let's see the violet shade. That's more intense, so let's play carefully. Oh, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful violet shade. I love it. So you see it's a beautiful cool violet shade. So easy to blend. I love it. Take the sponge applicator, take this violet underneath. Be careful when you put violet underneath because it's terrible. Sometimes when it falls down, you, you can really emphasize dark cycles. Now I go back with this violet. Okay, these violet tones are very beautiful, not too much. They blend into pink, gray, so very perfect for fall. But we have to try the gold touch and I think I can try it with my finger and I apply over pretty gold and violet are always so a great opulent combination And they really blend into an orangey shade. You see, you have this magical transition by itself. They really blend together with the matte shade. It's also warm. And you blend it here together, everything. So I have put a uh, um, touch of... Uh, touch lot of touch of Le Volume mascara here and here you see we have um, Le Beige water touch this is B20 I have also B10 but now I have a little bit of 10 so I use B20 and I already have it as a base what I do is to take a little bit and use it sort of concealing here and here to take away the dark shadow it's very layerable so you can really apply over easy to use and very fresh so perfect for summer I have also light pink blush color and in my opinion the better way to use it is to take it directly on the face and then diffuse it like this so don't blend it over the back of your hand but do it directly onto your face don't spread it too much I like to use also this very little little mini brush from Chanel I think it was in a sort of um, Le Beige sample. So, as you probably know, Chanel released a variety of uh, beautiful pink nude movie tone. I really love these lipstick colors, but we, but we don't have them actually in Italy, so I decided to postpone the purchase. Probably instead of pink, I want to try something that goes more towards um, something warm so I want to combine Velvet Affair with Kitten Mischief and Whirl 
from MAC. So let's see how it looks like. So I take a fair as a base. And it could be done, in my opinion, but let's continue. I blend it with my finger just to fix it. Something like this. And I, th I think that beige, uh, brown really go well with this kind of color on the eye. Then I take Whirl. Whirl it's very dark in a way, so I just give a little bit of definition like this, very subtle then I take a kitten mischief and I go over everything so this is my finished look I hope this video could be helpful for you, let me know your impression and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!